Smiles and a handshake between the American and Chinese leaders Joe Biden and Xi Jinping at the G20 summit in Bali. It's their first face-to-face -face meeting since Biden took office. Relations between the two world powers have grown frosty under successive American administrations, with issues such as trade and human rights causing friction. But for now, at least, there's talk of limited cooperation and keeping to the status quo on the most prickly issue, Taiwan. We're going to compete vigorously, but I'm not looking for conflict. I'm looking to manage this competition responsibly. And I want to make sure, make sure that every country abides by the international rules of the road. And we discussed that. The one China policy, our one China policy has not changed, has not changed. We oppose unilateral change in the status quo by either side, and we're committed to maintaining the peace and stability in the Taiwan Straits. Meanwhile, the EU has announced that it will allocate an additional 210 million euros in aid to alleviate the global food security crisis. Multiple factors have increased the price of food, but it's climate change, especially as COP27 trundles on, that was on the mind of the UN's chief. It is obvious we need a new approach. And so I proposed a historic pact between developed and emerging economies, a climate solidarity pact that combines the capacities and resources of developed and emerging economies for the benefit of all. Despite significant differences remaining between China and America, there is some hope that dialogue can continue between the two sides, and with it the reduced possibility of a conflict.